What is a subject heading? A subject heading appears in library databases to help you locate articles without having to worry about a long string of synonyms. Subject headings are also a form of controlled vocabulary. Controlled vocabulary can be found in many places in your everyday life, including such things as grocery store aisles, websites like Amazon.com, telephone books, and an electronic charting used in most hospital and clinical settings. So why should you care about controlled vocabulary and subject headings? The reason is simple. Using subject headings in a library database or controlled vocabulary in any environment makes it easier for you to retrieve information faster and more accurately. For a library database, this means that every article that is inputted into the database is looked at by a human being who codes the article with the appropriate subject headings. If you can learn to search using these headings, you can retrieve information that you know is relevant to the subject that you are looking for, and you can do so very quickly. CINAHL divides its subject headings into major and minor headings on every article. One way to look for headings is to click on an article title, which will take you to the article record, and you can click on any of the subject headings located on that article, which will pull up all of the relevant articles containing that subject heading in the database. MeSH headings are also divided by major and minor, but are not listed separately on the article record page. Instead, major headings are indicated by an asterisk. To search using subject headings, you have to use a different part of the database. In CINAHL, subject headings are called CINAHL headings, and the search for them is located at the top of the database page on the blue bar. Subject headings in Medline are called MeSH and are also located at the top of the database page in the blue bar. Let's try a subject heading search in CINAHL. We'll begin by going to the CINAHL headings search located on the blue bar at the top of the page. To locate a subject heading, put a single keyword or phrase into the search box. The database will search through its list of headings and provide you with a relevancy ranked list of items. You can see here an example of what we call a C note. When I place diabetes into the subject heading search, it informs me to use diabetes mellitus. If I want to double check the meaning of this term, I can read the scope note. Subject headings in library databases are often organized in what we call a tree structure. This means that some headings are filed inside of others. For example, diabetes mellitus type 1 and 2 are filed underneath diabetes mellitus. You can click on any heading in this retrieval list to see how it is filed in the tree view. To select a heading to search, place a check mark in the box to the left of the heading. If there are items filed underneath the heading, you will have the option to explode this heading. Exploding a heading simply means that it will search not just that heading, but anything that has been filed inside of it. A general rule is if you have the option to explode an item, do so. Repeat this process for each of your keywords until you've searched all of them one by one in the subject headings. In just a moment, we will be combining these searches so that you have a narrowed list of a manageable number.
The majority of subject headings have subheadings available that will appear after you've checkmarked the heading. For the most part, you can ignore this box and leave the Include All Subheadings checkmarked as default. Now that you have retrieved the appropriate headings for all of your keywords, we need to combine these individual searches into one large search. Searches are combined using the Search History feature located under the search box. Your search history page tracks everything you have done in the database since opening your browser. It's generally a good idea to clear out any of the keyword or subject heading searches that are lingering in the box before you combine. Once you've cleared this, you can select the items that you want to combine together using the checkboxes to the left of the search ID numbers. If you want to retrieve results that only include all of the checkmark subject headings, use the Search with AND button. In this case, we have 138 articles that included the three headings we searched, diabetes mellitus, obesity, and adolescence. All 138 articles will have these three headings appearing on their article record. Subjects heading searches in Medline function exactly the same as in CINAHL. The key thing to remember, however, is that the language used in both databases is specific to that database. You cannot run a subject heading search from Medline in CINAHL and get adequate results, nor can you copy a search from CINAHL into Medline. You must build each search individually within the database. If you wish to build a more complicated search, you can use the search ID numbers to build a more complex Boolean search including ORs and ANDs, just like you would use keywords. For more information on how to do this, please see the CINAHL Basics tutorial.